Yeah, what the business is. It's sign order ism and it's top tag activity business. CEO. And um uh, I wanna speak on something. Previously I was listening to a um Trick Daddy freestyle on YouTube and I commented on it. I just had to say something to just reveal what's really occurring, you know, because obviously they've been talking about me, you know what I'm saying? Like, and this was a year ago. This was a year ago when I seen the freestyle. So I just want to say, I know that it's people that lie to y'all about my age. You know what I'm saying? I'm 30 years old. I was born in 1993. I'm a 90s baby. We grew up like when a lot of y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all, like we grew up listening, you know, to y'all. We was young niggas listening to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Some of us, that's when we first seen, some of our, our first time seeing a bitch shake her ass in y'all videos, you know what I'm saying? Like factual, no fallacy. Like y'all niggas was the niggas who introduced us to that type of shit. So we basically got a, some sort of mutual respect for y'all. But at the same time, when y'all niggas get older and y'all try to shut the door on us, that, and basically y'all paved the way for us. So it's like, you know, it's just like, damn, sometimes. Like, how the fuck do we respect this shit, man? Because I would never, so I know the ism, you know what I'm saying? All I need, like I said, all I need is like a 10 year run. I don't, I don't even really give a fuck about this rap shit like that. I just do it because I'm good at it. And I just want to make a way for my people. And I'm really mainly, mostly, I'm more excited about being a CEO than a rapper. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be more excited about Helping my artists pop off, you know what I'm saying? Get my no, get my artists that you know them endorsement deals. Helping my artists get you know make hits and you know get their songs on the radio and get them to pack out venues and shit like that. I'm gonna be more excited about that than myself. I don't know if it's just me, but a lot of niggas just want that shine, like they just want that spotlight all their life. Like you want you get your spotlight, nigga, for however long you get it. And then you move on and let other people get their sign on. That's just how I was taught. That's just how I was raised. Real niggas like me, we not around here trying to get all the sign. We not around here trying to get all the bitches. We not try, trying to get all the money. That's, that's how niggas get killed. Trying to stop niggas from getting in the dough and shit, man. Y'all niggas can't be doing that shit. And then the, what's crazy is y'all to let a whole nother race come into the equation. These people is white. These people are Ku Klux Klan members and shit, man. Factual, no fallacy. Like, these people will come and tell you some shit. Talking about, yeah, that dudeism, you ain't never heard of me. Never heard of me a day in your life. See, that dudeism, yeah, he didn't, he didn't rape my daughter. He didn't did something to my auntie. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? He robbed my uncle. Motherfucker tell you whatever. And then you go make a diss song and motherfucker say some shit in a song. You don't even know if it's true or not. You don't know if that shit true. You just up there just going with the flow. Motherfuckers just tell you some shit. You just jump in the studio or record or say some slick shit in an interview or something. Like, man, what what the business is, man? What happened to niggas? Then he's supposed to be real street niggas, man. Y'all supposed to be real street niggas. Any nigga know, man, do your research before you up and get to dissing somebody or talking shit about somebody, man. You don't know what's occurring. You don't know these people are hateful. These people are evil. They're mad because I'm not fucking with them. And even though they're clan members, they don't give a fuck. They like, man, man, I know that shit be the real clan members. I know that pissed y'all off because that'll piss me off if Black Panther was on that type of time. Going around y'all spreading lies on us and shit like that. When they don't even supposed to be even in an equation. Y'all supposed to be over there with the with the Caucasians. Why are you over here spreading lies, sex working, and trying to get somebody else not to get on because you want to fuck with them and, and you ain't going to get the chance to fuck with them? These women that wanted me 10, 20, 30 years older than me up here lying on me and shit, they don't even give a fuck about their daughters or their motherfucking nieces or something getting with me. They just trying to lie just because they washed up and shit and they trying to stop me. Man, y'all had y'all time. Y'all had y'all time, man. So y'all gonna go lie on me to these people that never even met me? Y'all helped me get famous. Y'all helped me, y'all actually helped me get famous. 
Because if y'all would have just shut the fuck up and just tried to blackball me and not, well, how y'all was going to blackball me without talking about me? That's number one. That's primarily. Y'all can't blackball somebody without talking about them. So that's where that came from. So y'all went to Florida, Georgia, New Orleans, Texas, Tennessee. Y'all went all up all no, up north and all that shit trying to blackball me just because y'all don't want to see me get on because y'all know I had potential to be something great and y'all weren't going to be a part of it. And y'all never tried to help me do nothing with my life at all. Y'all hold agenda was to try to cease me from doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do so I could be with y'all and not do shit with my life. And y'all really thought that was going to work. Y'all seriously thought that y'all was, that shit was going to work. And these rap niggas dissing me and shit, that only made, that was like fuel to the fire. I'm listening to, like, when I'm younger, I wasn't catching on to this shit. But now that I'm older, like, and I got senses and shit, so I'm catching this shit when I listen to it. The answer is like, yeah. He was talking about you. Like, yeah, they dissing you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I feel that shit, too. I feel the energy when you, when you say certain shit. When y'all say certain shit, I feel that shit. So I know you talking about me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, man, these niggas old and these niggas had their time. Like, I don't get it. I'm not hating on no older nigga that had they, you know what I'm saying? Some of young niggas do be hating on the older niggas, but it's the majority of the older niggas that's hating on the younger niggas, man. Y'all supposed to lead the way and open the door, keep the door open, man, for the next generation for this music shit to keep going. And white people, y'all don't really got shit to do with this shit, man. Y'all wish y'all could be a part of, be, go to BET and shit. Don't y'all? Y'all wish y'all could be in there doing that shit. Nah, bro, BET, that's black entertainment television. This rap shit is for black people. White people can enjoy that shit, but this shit is for black individuals. BET, black entertainment television. That's what the business is. And y'all just get pissed off at me because a white, y'all white son or something don't, you know what I'm saying, killed himself because he can't rap as good as me. Or these bitches killing themselves because they can't be with me. That's not my fault, man. Why y'all got to go spread rumors and lies and shit on niggas just because y'all can't deal with the fact that a nigga going to be shining and balling and on and y'all not going to be a part of it. But if I wasn't shit, if I ain't have no ambition, no gifts, no talents, and y'all had all the gifts and talents, Y'all wouldn't want me to fuck with y'all. Y'all would have shut the y'all shut the door on me. Like, dude, ain't shit unless I'm sex working or something. That's different. If I'm yeah, if I'm gonna sex work, yeah, I'm, yeah, fuck it. We gonna let him in. We gonna spoon feed him. We gonna take care of him. He gonna fuck us, and we gonna we gonna have babies for him, or we gonna let the gay men rape him and turn him gay or whatever the fuck y'all think y'all gonna do. Like, man, this shit is wicked, man. I'm just glad that everything coming out and I'm wise enough, I'm intelligent enough to peep this shit out and not do something stupid, man. Like, all praise to the ancestors for being with me. Like, I'm so thankful. And y'all think I'm going to turn on my ancestors for y'all? Y'all tripping, man. I'm gifted. I'm blessed. I'm, man, all praise to the ancestors. Y'all think y'all wouldn't trade on, y'all, if y'all had these abilities, y'all wouldn't do that either. Y'all definitely wouldn't do that. And I'm just saying, man, we got to do better, man. All the niggas that's my age, y'all niggas that's been in the game before me and shit like that, like, because I'm about to get in the game, I'm about to sign. Every, everything's being revealed. I understand that y'all need to know what's going on before y'all sign me, and y'all need to know everything is straight and safe, and you know what I'm saying? It's going to be productive. That's, what I, that's why I'm really making myself famous, because I know I can't get no record deal if I'm not famous, if I don't have a buzz, some type of buzz at least. So... I just want y'all to understand that, man, don't do that shit, man. Y'all niggas don't get older. Y'all don't y'all gonna get killed for that shit, man. A real gangster ass nigga kill y'all for that shit, man. Y'all done had y'all time to sign and, and y'all up here trying to blackball the niggas, spread lies and shit. Y'all niggas been rapping since motherfucking 98. And this motherfucking 2024, and y'all trying to shut the door on young niggas that's trying to get in the game and find a way to provide for their child, for their people, for their family and shit, their children, their mother and their sisters and their brothers and shit. Man, what the business is, man? How can y'all do that? How do y'all feel like that's some real shit? Y'all got to know that ain't no real shit. That shit got to fuck with y'all mentally when y'all do that. If it don't, then you just don't have no conscience. Because y'all was them same niggas once upon a time trying to get in the rap game, trying to get 
some money to do a show to perform. Y'all was in the same shoes. Y'all was in them same shoes once upon a time. And y'all be talking, y'all be down talking niggas and shit. And niggas trying to find a way to provide for their people, man. For they, man, this shit is so crazy to me. It don't make no sense, bro. It don't. And niggas do niggas the same way in the dope game and all that shit. Like that shit, the rap, like niggas, some niggas be saying the rap game just like the dope game. It's not exactly like it, but it's cutthroat like that, man. Like you ain't cut like that. It is what it is, though. You know? You ain't cut like that. They gonna feed you to the wolves. And you gonna be a meal for the wolves. You gonna be a meal for the animals in the jungle. And that's all it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what they wanted me to be. People that wouldn't even a part of this shit, man. Y'all be trying to be a part of something that y'all not cut for. Y'all trying to, man, like Yellow Wolf, like who, who the good white, white rappers that we got? Yellow Wolf, uh, he probably, you know what I'm saying? Eminem. Post Malone, like, people wrote they shit, man. They not no fucking real deal artists. People was writing. People had, they had ghost writers. I'm, I, man, look, I don't know for sure, but I I guarantee, I can almost guarantee y'all that they had ghost writers and they wasn't really rapping like that. Like, come on now, this shit for us. Everything that we got for us, y'all try to interfere with that shit. When y'all got all type of shit going on, Y'all people left y'all millions of dollars and shit. It's people that's millionaires that's trying to stop me. People that's riding around in Bentleys and Porsches and Aston Martins and shit. Like, mine on stopping me because they know I'm going to have more money than them when I get on. Man, what the fuck if I earned this shit and I worked for it and I worked on my craft? Why are you mad? Why are you tripping for it? Just like you work for whatever you work for, you... Could, you know what I'm saying Deceive some people or whatever I don't give a fuck How you got what you got It ain't none of my business But for y'all to get in my business And be trying to stop me From getting on And taking care of my people And shit Cause y'all are jealous of me That shit is absurd And then y'all let these Lame ass niggas Who, who ain't really talking about shit Who y'all could just do whatever to Get in the door cause, Because they gonna let y'all Do whatever to them Man that's absurd Like that's crazy That's illogical I do not get it. I, I don't understand because I'm never going to do that shit. I'm never going to shut the door on a young nigga that's trying to get in. I might not sign him. I might be like, you ain't going to sign the TTA, but nigga, do your shit. I ain't finna shut the door on you. I ain't going to be like, yeah, that little young nigga right there. That nigga, yeah, that nigga rap better than me. So shit, fuck that shit. That nigga sign, that nigga get the, he been trying to, he been fucking the bitches I've been trying to fuck for years. Fuck that shit, man. He got that bitch and that bitch, but he not about to get that other bitch he been talking to. Go look, go tell him that, go tell him, go tell that bitch, you know what I'm saying, that nigga a rapist. Go tell that bitch, yeah, the white bitch, yeah, that white bitch told me she raped, he raped her motherfucking niece, and they, ain't, they just ain't say nothing. You think them bitches gonna really sit there and let a nigga rape them and not say nothing? They wanna hang a nigga. They be lying on niggas talking about who raped them and shit. Man, cease it, man. There's some bitches that will let somebody rape them and don't say nothing, but ain't no clan member gonna let somebody rape them and not say nothing. They want them, they itching for a reason to lock a nigga up. Like, let's just be realistic, man. So, this is just crazy, man. They be like, yeah, go tell that bitch he a robber, bitch. He gonna bake her, he gonna break in your house, he a burglar. He gonna burglarize your shit. You fuck with him and let him in your house, he gonna burglarize your shit. Nigga caught a burglary when they was fucking. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was misled and, and caught a burglary when they was fucking 15, 16. Niggas was, you know what I'm saying, misled watching motherfucking paper soldiers or some shit and started breaking their houses trying to get some money being misled. Watching them movies and shit. A nigga that outgrew that shit, got a whole plan, got businesses to open, got all type of shit going on. But you still talking about what a nigga did 10, 20 years ago when they was lost. You know what I'm saying? You talking about what a nigga did 15 years ago. Yeah, they lying talking about a nigga got STDs. Nigga got AIDS. Don't fuck with him. He got AIDS. This nigga don't got... This, I'm clean. I don't got no STD. I don't got shit. And then bitches be hating and they'll run, run along with it and spread it and say it to somebody else. Don't even check. Don't even say, man, what... Ain't nobody say, man, who is this Sano the ism nigga? Why is everybody talking about him and talking bad on him? Why? Ain't nobody sit back and ask that shit. 
then y'all to see me rapping, y'all y'all to see me in a video or something, y'all be like, man, that nigga fly. Fuck that shit. That they lying on his ass, but we still gonna blackball him though. Like, man, what the fuck? Man, this shit is wicked. It definitely is. But I just wanna say, y'all, y'all younger niggas, like, y'all don't gotta worry about that shit with this, man. I get in the dough. I'm not blackballing nothing. I'm not trying to stop nobody. Y'all do y'all, man. But don't be hating on me and shit because I ain't trying to sign you or whatever. I ain't trying to work with you because I might not work with you. I might not sign you. But I ain't finna blackball you. I ain't finna spread lies and tell people not to fuck with you because I don't like you. And nine times out of ten, it ain't going to be because, you know what I'm saying? It's not that I don't like you because I ain't going to give a fuck. I don't hate on niggas that's doing good. I don't hate on nobody, period. But, you know what I'm saying? Cease it, man. I don't hate on nobody at all. Because I'm a real nigga. I'm a top tier activity member. And if any nigga, anybody that's part of top tier activity, talking about they hating on somebody, you not no top tier activity member. Because top tier activity members, not only pushing themselves to get better, but they're pushing other people to get better. They want they want to see people do better. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to be. We supposed to be working on this shit generational-wise. Like, man, look, my generation went through this. We trying to prevent y'all from going through this. So we trying to let y'all learn from what we've been through. That's how it's supposed to be. Now to not, oh, man, no, nah, fuck that. We going to shut the door on this nigga. He fucking the bitches I wish I could fuck. You know what I'm saying? I was tripping off that Life Jennings video when that nigga was talking about he went to jail and was in jail 20 some years and the older bitches don't understand him because he was locked up for 20 some years and he want the young bitches that he missed out on. And, man, what the fuck is you what the fuck are you talking about, bro? That don't mean shit. A lot of these bitches be immature, they down self. They be 50, 40 some years old, still don't have the motherfucking a mature mindset, man. You don't know how stupid you made yourself look in that shit. You seen how them bitches was looking at you? Like, what the fuck? Like, man, you tripping, nigga. Ain't, that ain't no fucking excuse. You better get you an older woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, if they don't want you, they don't want you. Ain't no blackballing no nigga from getting bitches just because they want that nigga and, you, and they don't want you. What type of shit is that, man? That's fucking crazy, bro. That's why I know a lot of people got mental issues, man. And they let these bitches come sex. They they be sex working with these bitches. They be fucking these bitches. And that's how it happened too. I made a video about that. When you fucking somebody, that's a soul energy exchange. Nine times out of ten, you're going to think like them. Nine times out of ten, you're going to do what they do. Because y'all having sex. That's why you got to watch who y'all dealing with sexually. Because it's serious. That's why I only want the bossiest, sexiest, sophisticated women because that's who want me and that's who I gravitate towards and that's who gravitates towards me. It's like a metal to a magnet type shit. So y'all niggas be trying to lie on a lot of bitches about that and all that shit, man. Look, y'all need to cease it, man, because if y'all not on that level, y'all not on that level. Y'all be lying to bitches and shit and them bitches just be wanting to fuck. They don't give a fuck about you, whatever you talking about, about ism. They probably... Never see ism a day in their life. They probably never get the chance to fuck them, so they probably just go along. Say, all right, ooh, do wop. And then once y'all fuck, they for they definitely about to go spread them rumors because y'all got them soul ties. Factual, no fantasy. Like this shit is wicked, man. But I had to let Trick know though, man. If you want to still be relevant, you gotta make hits, man. For y'all that's in the music industry and y'all want to be remembered 20, 30 years down the line or whatever like that. Man, y'all got to have hits, man. Y'all got to have some shit that's, like, timeless that, that, that people listen to and they feel like, man, somebody just made this yesterday. Like, this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all got to be up on that, man. Don't be talking, don't be having no bullshit-ass songs that just pop for six months and somebody just listen to that shit for the time being and then get on a song talking about how could y'all forget about me. Easily, nigga. What the fuck? Easily, nigga, like Tupac shit. Man, look, nigga, still jamming Tupac shit to this day. That's a person we could never forget. Tupac, nigga. Factual, no fallacy, man. Like, Tupac, that's some shit. <clears throat> Tupac, yeah, that's some shit. That we, that's, that's somebody we'll never forget, nigga. 
let's just give examples, nigga. Like, let's just be realistic. Factual no fallacy. That's a perfect example. I'm trying to think of somebody else who we could say that we'll never forget. Like, nigga, how you forget about Tupac, nigga? Never. The little kids know who Tupac is. We can pull up to the hood bumping Tupac. The little kids know who that is. The little kids definitely know who that is. So I just want y'all to know, like, damn, let me think of who else it could, you know what I'm saying? Like, who else? That'll probably never be forgotten. They got hits, though. Like, hits, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's a, you know, it's, a, it's a handful. It's probably, you know what I'm saying? I could probably count on two, you know, two hands, but I'm not going to sit here and name all these niggas, but Tupac is a great example, man. Y'all got to be on some Tupac shit, man. Y'all got to be making hits, bangers. That niggas will never forget 10, 10, 20, 30 years down the line before y'all get in be able to get in a video and say, how can y'all forget about me? Like, ism. So I know the ism. I got some hits and I did some shit that's legendary. Niggas will never forget about me. Niggas will never forget about ism. That's why I put my shit online. You know what I'm saying? And I know ain't nothing gonna happen to me, but if something happened to me and I was on the news and they say such and such, woo the woo happened to him? People could go look me up and see what the fuck happened. They could see my life. You know what I'm saying? They could see what I've been through. Because I got my story I'm telling on TikTok. I got my sex series. I got the shit that I've been through. I got this clan business, this shit that's going on with these clan members. They still here. When they be, they was low-key trying to hide that shit. Now they got to bring that shit out. But yeah, I call y'all the clan, the Klu Klux Klan. Y'all still here and y'all trying to seize me. And y'all did what y'all did for the time being. But it's over with. I'm not blackballed. And y'all hating ass niggas think y'all could just team up with their ass and think ain't nothing gonna happen to y'all talking about I'm blackballed. Man, I'm against. I got people to be here for. I got people to protect. I got people to feed and take care of, man. Not only my kids. Man, I got brothers and sisters, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews. I got people to be here for. And you think it's just gonna be, you just gonna blackball me? I'm a real gangster. I'm a real street nigga, man. Facts or no fallacy. I ain't playing about this shit. I ain't playing about my motherfucking life. About my well-being, y'all thought because I oh I ain't fucking with nobody, like oh yeah he don't got no family so we could just do him like that. I gotta have family for y'all to motherfucking outnumber me and try to blackball me from some shit and y'all don't know I don't speak about it but I got family bitch. I got family all in the music industry. Why you think I'm so good at this shit? I got family. We just don't talk about this shit. We gangsters, man. We already know what's going on. We real street niggas. Most of us real street. We ain't gonna sit back and talk about who family and who not when they know niggas hating on us and shit like that and trying to intervene and it's gonna make shit hot. We gonna have to kill y'all ass for being on some hating shit just because of who our family members are. Now, I got a legacy to protect, nigga. I gotta watch who I'm out here having kids with. I gotta watch who I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? Letting swallow my sperm and shit. I got to watch who I'm out here fucking on and, you know what I'm saying, doing shit with. That shit's serious to me, man. I'm trying to add to the legacy, not take away from it. I got people in my motherfucking family that's rich and famous, man, that I'm going to be with. And you think I'm finna sit around and be able to, and be like, yeah, I had a baby with a bullshit, with some bullshit ass baby mamas, and I'm going through all type of shit because I wanted to settle for less when I could have the best? What I look like? What the fuck do I look like settling for a clan member? That's trying to take me down. These gay ass motherfuckers, they sent it. Man, I was just in a bathroom, man. I was in a fucking bathroom, and these motherfuckers coming in and out the bathroom fucking with me, man. I ain't even gotta use the bathroom. Just in and out that motherfucker. So now they got people coming to Vegas thinking that they just about to taunt me and play with me like I'm a motherfucking game or something. Y'all not gonna make it back. I'm y'all. Come fly out here and think you just finna come fuck with me and play games with me because you think I can't get to you or something like that and you think you just gonna do whatever. You not gonna make it back home. I'm tired of this shit, man. The ancestors are tired of this shit. Y'all not finna be fucking with us like that and everybody know that I'm here to help them, man. And if you don't know, now you know. Bitch, I'm here to help y'all, so cease playing with me. Cease that shit, man. Y'all old washed up ass niggas in the rap game. Nigga, I rap better than y'all. So what, nigga? I'm a real street nigga. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm gonna respect you the same way, even if I didn't rap better than you. I don't know what the fuck going on. I don't give a fuck about this rap shit like that. I just do this shit because I'm good at it. Because I'm great at this shit. And I've been working on my craft and shit. And a lot of y'all paved the way. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all was examples of how we should be to a certain extent. 
we grew up listening to y'all. We grew up, I grew up watching BET and shit like that. Watching niggas rap and watching MTV Cribs and shit like that. Like, man, I'm wondering how my shit gonna be. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show the people my shit, man. Be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can have this if y'all handle y'all business. You know what I'm saying? Like, we looked up to y'all niggas, man. It's like, damn. If y'all was something to look up to, but now nigga don't look up to none of y'all, man. Like, I'm just me. I ain't looking up to y'all, nigga. I want to be praised and shit. Y'all for, for nothing, though. For nothing. Ain't did shit for real. But y'all want to be praised like y'all guys or something, man. Like, that shit crazy. Cease that shit. Let's keep it real. Like, what like what the business is, man. I'm not even on that type of shit. Y'all trying to block me out the rap game because y'all know I ain't going to be working with some of y'all. So what, nigga? Do you. Don't be mad because Ism not working with you. That's not my fault. Bitch, don't be mad because I'm not fucking you. Talking about, oh, yeah, he ain't going to be fucking me, so no. Bitch, you going to die for that shit. Y'all going to die for that shit, man. It's not the world. The world don't revolve around y'all. The world do not revolve around y'all. Y'all be thinking just because y'all in a game, in a rap game and shit, niggas praising y'all and woo the woo. We ain't going to get on the fans and shit, but look, that's them. They, they, they fans of y'all. That's what they supposed to do, I guess, if that's what they want to do. Like, damn. This shit crazy, man. It don't make no sense. Y'all let these clan members come put some poison in y'all mind and fuck y'all up. Got y'all thinking stupid, man. Factual no fallacy. Like, this shit don't make no fucking sense. <laughs> this shit don't make no sense. Excuse me, it's a motherfucking fly or something flying around me trying to take my fucking energy because they want my energy so fucking bad but they can't get it so they just trying to yeah when y'all see them flies and shit y'all be feeling good and the fly come fly around y'all or something like that and they and next thing you know y'all feel weird yeah that don't even be no fucking fly a fly can't really take your energy like that they, they be having bugs and shit that just trying to come take your energy and shit i'm about to expose y'all because i'm tired of this shit bro this certain shit I'm not gonna say online, but this certain shit that I'm gonna say, cause like I'm tired of this shit, man. Like I'm so fucking tired of it. it don't make no fucking sense, man. Y'all need to work on y'all selves and stop hating on a nigga that's putting in work to trying to do what the fuck they gotta do. But I'm finna end this though. I'm gonna catch y'all later though. Facts are no fallacy. Y'all know what the business is. It's I know the ism. Top tech activity. Business CEO. <clears throat> Bitch.